and welcome back to Senior Shape Up Daily 15. So this is day three and all you will need with you today is two tin cans or a pair of dumbbells if you have got some and a chair for a bit of support and stability. So it's going to be three options as normal and we are going to be doing five exercises which we are going to repeat twice. So do pace yourself. If you feel like you're getting any pain or discomfort, stop what you're doing immediately. Do make sure you've got a glass of water to hand if you need a quick sip and check with your GP that this exercise regime is good for you before you start. So if you haven't warmed up already, hit the link below in the description box, do a warm up and then come back and join me. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell and leave me a comment at the end because I just love hearing your comments guys. It gives me a smile on my face every day when I hear little things which you've been up to. So we are going to start with our first exercise which is a low jack. So I'm going to hit the timer. I've got my tins ready at the side here. Good and we're going to start with the right leg. We're going to step out to the side and reach across. So level two, if I'm holding onto the back of the chair, I'm stepping out to the side, soft supporting knee, and then I'm going to reach across. Good, now you can see I've got one hand always onto the back of the chair if I need it. Otherwise, level three, we're going to pick it up a little bit more. Good, bring your pace up if you can there, stepping out and pulling in, really reach. How far can you bend and stretch? That's it, well done. Good, reaching and pulling in. Imagine that you're pulling a rope as you're bringing your hands back in. That's it, steady breath. 40 seconds on the clock here, back into active recovery. So active recovery is when we're pumping our heels, getting that blood returning back up to the level of the heart. So just drop your shoulders down, core in, chin up there. Good, and we're gonna get ready for a pec squeeze. Now you can do a pec squeeze level two by just clasping your fists. Level three, you can hold onto your tin cans. So we are bringing the elbows close in together and we've got our weights up nice and high. Super stuff, good. Now if you can wiggle your toes in your shoes, even better. If you have any balance issues with this, you might want to place one hand onto the chair, back of the chair, do five repetitions on each arm. So you're doing it singly. Good, now you have got the option which is seated all the way through this program today. So do choose the right level for you. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me there. Good, and pop those weights down, back into active recovery. So we are going to tap out with the left leg this time and reach across. So level two, remember that you're holding on. Level one, you're gonna look at the chair base one. Level three, you're just standing independently. Here we go, so I'm gonna start with level two. Now level two, you don't have to add those arms in if you don't want to, just go with the legs. If you're feeling saucy, add the arm in as well. Good, and again, stick to a pace which is comfortable for you. This might be your pace, and other people might be like this. It doesn't matter where you are. This is a personal journey. It's all about, you know, taking control of your own body, looking to 2021 to see if we can better ourselves, get ourselves stronger, fitter, and just feel more positive for the day. You know, we've got tough times going on all around us, but exercise is such a great medium to help lift our spirits up and make us feel good. So in for hill pumping, and I love the fact that exercise releases those happy endorphins, and really it does. You can feel totally rubbish at the beginning, and by the end you're thinking, oh, I actually achieved it, how great. Shoulder press, okay. So level one, you're going to take your weight, and you're going to alternate shoulder press above the head. As you can see, my knees are nice and soft, and I'm returning my hand to the back of the chair there for support. Now level three, good, you can move away from the chair, and it's all about doing an alternating press here, reaching up. Now see if you can move slightly, and lean a little bit more, and we're gonna be increasing the work on our latissimus dorsi, Good, and I'm working a bit through our abs as well as we're doing this. Good, and place the weight back down. Active recovery. Next one coming up, we've got three walks forward 
adding in a knee lift. Good, now if you're doing the seated version, you just keep your heels pumping on the floor for three counts and then add a knee lift in. So, level two, holding onto the back of the chair. Here we go, one, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift. Good, forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift. Level three, good, a little bit more energy. One, two, three, really see if you can get those knees up. That's it. Good, this is round one. You're nearly at the end of round one. It's amazing how quickly three rounds go. Good, and remember by repeating these exercises, you're actually improving the proprioception within your muscles. And it's much better than just doing it once. Good, in for an active recovery. So we're back to the beginning again. I'm gonna go for a low jack with the right leg. So stepping out to the side and reaching across the body. Just relax the shoulders down, have a sip of water if you need one. Woo, here we go. Step out and in, start with just the legs. When you feel ready, add that arm in and reach across. Good, now level three, let's do it without the chair. Good, in and back. Now you will feel the supporting leg working as well. And that is normal because it's doing a good job of holding us up. Good, reach across, that's it, go on, you can do it. Can you increase your pace by a little bit? Good, have a go. Otherwise, bring it down. You should be able to have a conversation, but you're feeling a bit breathy. So that's the pace that you need to get to. In for a hill pump, back in for a hill pump. Okay, let's centre ourselves, shoulders low, grab the weights for a pec squeeze. Okay, so I'm still keeping my heels pumping. Good. Now I'm going to show you level two by just using one hand onto the side. So I'm going to squeeze in with five repetitions. Two three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna swift it to the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Continue like that if you wish. Otherwise, level three, you're really squeezing your elbows together. Can you get your forearms touching? That touch gets the protect, <gasps> Pectoral muscles really working. Good, steady breath. And then pop the weights down. Active recovery, here we go. Good, now, so we're going out for a low jack with the left leg this time. Level two, holding on. Level three, in the middle of the floor. Relax the shoulders, get the breath back in, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, tap out and in. So start with the legs. When you feel happy, Add that arm, reach across, pull in, pull that rope in, good. Okay, I'm gonna to turn to face you, level three, here we go. So we're really stretching across, that's it, pulling in. You can bring your arm down, elbow comes close in if you wish, or you can keep it high, whatever you feel comfortable. It's about moving. No one's watching you at home, it doesn't matter. If your legs or arms are going different places, it's about the fact that you are moving, you are making a difference. Well done. Okay, in for a heel pump, off we go again. So we are going into an alternating shoulder press, so you will need your weights. That's it. Do it seated if you wish. Otherwise, level two, you're gonna hold on to the back of the chair. Level three, you're just doing it in the middle of the room. So alternating with level two. Now, if you find pumping your heels at the same time a little bit crazy with the brain, keep your feet flat, but wiggle your toes in your shoes. Now I'm gonna to turn to face you. Good. And I'm working up to level three. That's it, pushing up and down. Good. Strong biceps as you're pulling that down as well. And then push up through the triceps. Good, so you're working both of those muscles there. Think about pushing a heavy weight up to the ceiling and then pulling your weight down. Good, weights go down, in for an alternating hill pump. Good, now we're gonna travel this four to three 
adding in a knee lift. So remember, level two, you're holding onto the back of the chair. That's it, relax the shoulders down. Don't forget to share these exercises with your friends. Get everybody motivated at home. Here we go. And one, two, three, knee lift, back, two, three, lift. Forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift. And if you're doing level three, let's rock it out a bit more, put a bit more energy in. One, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift, and up, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift. Keep it going, you're doing really well. And one, two, three, lift, back, and again, two, three, and lift. Fantastic, and one, two, three, lift, couple more seconds. And back, two, three, lift, and breathe, fantastic. So back in for a hill pump. Again, relax those shoulders, get your breath back. We are now heading back to the beginning. This is our last round, yes! Round up de trois, we are coming up. So we're on round three. Get ready for your right leg to be coming out for a side jack. Here we go, level two. Let's stick with just the leg. If you feel happy, add the arm over and reach. Level three, here we go. So we're reaching over, tapping out. Make those reaches nice and strong. This is the last time you're gonna be doing this on this leg. Fantastic, good. Reach across, round that shoulder. It's fine to do that because we're exercising the upper back as we're rounding and pulling back in. Good, nearly there. Well done, if you're doing this chair base, keep up that good energy and good work. Here we go, and reach, that's it. And in for a hill pump. So again, back to nice, easy, active recovery. So as you're doing this active recovery, if you're feeling this is a bit too much, just wiggle your toes in your shoes and really get your breath back. Have a sip of water if you need one too. Next one, pec squeeze, so grab your weight. Level one, you're in to the chair. Now level two, you can just do two pec squeezes this time and swap it round. Level three, you're doing both your arms together. So I would do that one in just a mo. Steady breath, I'm gonna go to level three now. Here we go. So I'm squeezing in between my elbows, really bringing those forearms together. Squeeze. Activate, squeeze, well done guys. Steady breath, wiggle those toes in your shoes. That's it, keep it going. And squeeze, core in strong. And well done, put the weights down. So active recovery. Last time of a low jack onto that left leg. So I'm gonna start with level two, shoulders nice and low. Chin up there. Are we ready? Five seconds, just prepare yourself. Remember, we're gonna tap out and in. Here we go, so tap out and in. Level two, now you can keep your hands here if you wish, or you can add that arming, reaching across. Off we go, reach across. That's it, level three. So I'm taking it out, and I'm gonna pick my pace up just a little bit more. Now, if you're at level three, it doesn't mean that you have to go harder and faster. It can just mean keep it steady, but you're doing it by yourself without a chair to hold on to. Now, if you feel like you want to really start to pick it up a bit more, listen to your body and do what's right for you. So you should be able to have a good conversation but feeling a little bit breathy in between. Good, in for an active recovery again. Doing super here, we've got an alternating shoulder press coming up. So, sat down if you're um, in the seated position. Otherwise, hold on to your weights ready and raring to go. Okay, here we go, alternating press. Now I'm gonna keep my feet flat down for level two this time, and I am going to wiggle my toes in my shoes. As you can see, I'm bringing my hand back down to the back of the chair. Super, now I'm gonna to turn to face you, and I'm gonna go for level three. So I'm pushing up and bringing the weights in. Good, push up. And in, imagine that you're pushing that heavy weight above you and pulling a rope down. So you're getting both of the actions. Push up through the triceps, pull in through the biceps. Yes, everything we like to do, we don't want to make our body work to the best ability we can do. Fantastic, weights down, in for active recovery. 
Can you believe it? We've got one more exercise to go. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you're liking the rounds, the three rounds of five exercises compared to the other series that we've done. Okay, shoulders down, walk it forward. Here we go. And one, two, three, reach back, two, three, reach, good, forward, two, three, reach back. I'm gonna go for level three now. One, two, three, reach back, two, three, reach, forward, two, three, reach. That's it. You shall run. You might want to take this and travel it all the way around your rib if you've got a nice big rib. Or you might want to take it into a different direction. It doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you've got that one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Good, keep it going. Nearly there, folks. Yes, active recovery, nice and easy. Woo! You have made it all the way through the today's workout. Well done, absolutely fantastic work. Hit that link in the description box below and that will take you to the cool down. So well done for today, guys. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, along with the bell, and you'll be updated with the next latest video coming your way. Do share with your friends, and please, 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 above all else, keep safe and keep at home if you can do. And we are always here as a community to support each other. So much love to you all, and I shall see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.